So on the 11th of last month, which was April, I received this email by Google letting me know that my AdSense account has some ad limits placed on it. They said it was temporary, but uh, well, you'll get to know the whole story. So I'm going to summarize the email so that you can know what it generally means. And uh, essentially, AdSense is trying to protect the advertisers on their platform because some people that make money from AdSense, they try, should I say, black hat method to make more money on the platform and AdSense is trying as much as they can to get rid of all those people so that people that are paying AdSense to advertise do not lose money because those people that are using all the black hat methods to make money from AdSense they're not bringing customers to the advertisers they're essentially just making the advertisers lose money so that's why sometimes AdSense will go through some of their publishers to make sure that the people are actually doing what is right so that is essentially what it means but this was my first time hearing about it so I went online to do some research just to make sure that it is common because I have never heard about this ad limit stuff before. And after doing my research, I found out that um, some people only had this notification for like 10 days. Others said they had it for months and some said this was the reason why their account got shut down. And you know with AdSense, once your account is shut down, you'll not be allowed to create a new account, at least as far as I know. So after finding out that after 10 days, there's a possibility that the notification will go away because a notification will stay on your AdSense account. I have a video showing you what I mean. So after waiting for 10 days for the notification to disappear and it didn't disappear, I started to panic because those of you that have been watching my videos know that I only recently got this AdSense account. I think I got it last year's December. Now there's a good part about this AdSense issue. The thing is that it only affects websites. So if you only have your YouTube channel connected to your AdSense account, I'm not going to have these kind of issues. At least that's what I believe. But because my website and my YouTube channel are both connected to the AdSense account, that's why I had this issue. And the issue was coming from the website because when you talk about YouTube, ads that display on YouTube are controlled by AdSense and YouTube themselves. But ads that display on your website are controlled by you and AdSense. So AdSense does not trust you enough, but they trust YouTube to do the right thing. If you get what I mean. So what I decided to do was I removed the website, my website that was connected to the AdSense account. And after I did, I added it again to see if they would tell me that something was wrong with the website. And lo and behold, they rejected the website. I wish I took a screenshot of the reasons why they rejected the website, but uh, I remember what they said. What they said was my website had so many links that were not active. And um, the reason why this happened was because I redesigned my website and there were things that I just put knowing that I will fill them up in the future. Things like products that I was thinking about creating in the future. I don't remember the rest. I think software as well that I was going to link from affiliate products. I'm not really sure. But I just created those links with the mindset that I will fill them up in the future as I work on the website. Even though I don't like working on the website anymore. So because of that, AdSense put my website on their watch list because it was not following their guidelines. So after realizing my mistake, I decided to remove all the things that I did, all the redesigns that I did. I removed everything, just took the website back to how it used to look like with all the links intact and I reapplied again to AdSense and this time I got accepted. But mind you, that did not remove the ad limits on my AdSense account. So at this point, there was nothing I could do but just wait because I knew I had done my part, I had done my best. I had looked for the issues and cleared it out so I just had to wait for AdSense to do all the checks that they had to do and remove the ad limits that they placed on their account. So after waiting for around a month, on the 22nd of this month, I opened my AdSense account because AdSense pays on the 21st and I didn't see the error anymore, not the error, the notification. And yeah, I was happy about that. They didn't send me an email, they didn't do anything to let me know that I had been cleared. They just removed the notification and they are like, okay, carry on, we are done with you, <laughs> bye bye. So hopefully you have learned something from this and I think there's something I'm forgetting to add. I forgot to write it in my notes. But uh, well, if I remember, I'll write it as a comment in this video. So yeah, maybe check the comments in the future. Anyways, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments and uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.